guys what is up will here and today i will be showing you how to make your leader stats or leaderboard whatever you prefer to call it it's a little leaderboard thing that will be in the top right of your screen about here that you can also minimize while you're in game so as you can see here i've got coins zero gems zero as in the last tutorial i showed you how to add developer products and leader stats so i will be showing you how to make this today so first thing first you're going to want to add two text labels in my case however if you have got maybe a few different things that you want displayed for example maybe you want to have gems coins and clicks something like that you can have three you basically need the amount of text labels that you want to be on the screen and then what we're going to do here which i actually forgot to tell you about in the other tutorials which is why i remade this a bit so it's probably a little bit bigger or smaller i'm not sure but that makes it so it fits on all screens so when you shrink it round like this it still works and it doesn't slide off or fill up your whole screen so you can't do anything so to do that let's just make a new text label actually here we go we've got this plain white one here then when you come to size it will be like this you just need to find this arrow click on it the x and y will be closed off like the size would be just open that up offset set it to zero on x and set it to zero on y and then just rescale it by using your mouse and then that will mean that it will move with your screen which means no matter how big nor how small the screen is it will always fit so let's say this one is going to be our coins one we have this now we're just going to customize it i will do that right now okay so guys we have now customized it so it fits in wait let me just get rid of the border there we go now it fits in with it obviously you can rescale it move it around the screen maybe have it at the top and have the background transparency to zero that would be very nice if you have a bounty system or something like that or maybe time played for example they have that in speedrun 4 so then what we're going to want to do now is as you can see here we need to import a local script so in our text label click on the plus add a local script and then i will have the script in the comment section down below pinned so you don't need to scroll far so we're just going to open this script up copy this and then we're going to paste it here so basically what this does is it will grab your leader stats and then put it on the screen there so what we want to do here is make it so it's your leader stats value so let's say instead of having coins as my leader stats value it was called cash i would need to change this part that's purple here to cash then i need to change this part here to cash i will just have it in brackets saying leader stats name or i'll just have it in brackets saying leader stats name make sure to change that when you copy and paste it so then what we've done there is that basically makes it so it displays and also since we just had a text label when you hover over shop here it darkens out coins and gems are text labels they do not if you want it to darken out you need to make a text button you can just make it darken out when you hover over it by doing nothing to the text button but if you want to make a gui that pops up maybe whenever you click um, any of your leader stats values here on the left for example in my case coins or gems it might come up with a gui like the shop but it comes up with profile or maybe stats something like that and then you could do that and 
as you can see if we press play we do have it here however it's stuck on zero at the moment as we don't have anything to make our numbers go up trust me it does work i tested it in um my other game dog simulator it's a work in progress uh you can check it out if you want i'll put a link to that in the description however it is nowhere near done as i'm mainly focusing on these tutorials over the games so i'm sorry about that and guys if you um don't trust me then you can just put it in your game make sure to save it first um and then try it out it does work and then if for some weird reason it doesn't work check the output and let me know what it says wrong there as it could be something wrong with another script or maybe you spelt it wrong here so make sure like here you need to have the correct name because i know for sometimes one of my um keys on my keyboard might not press and then i'll wonder what's wrong so make sure it is letter by letter perfect capitali capitalization as that is something very important i'm just gonna delete this though as i've already got a coins one here okay so guys if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way please leave a like and if you're new here or haven't already then maybe subscribe as in the next tutorial i will be showing you guys how to add codes which you can maybe get off twitter off youtube videos out of a group even just from the game's description or i will be showing you guys how to make a loading screen make sure to tell me what you guys want in the comment section down below and maybe just maybe i might put them both together depends whether the decision is 50 50 but yeah until next time bye guys